Crews battled a fire at a small shopping plaza in the Metro East early this morning. Now the people who work there and investigators, they're assessing the damage. Fox News' Laura Simon, closer look what happened. This building behind me is the Cahokia One Stop. It's a popular convenience store. They also have video gaming and slot machines inside, but I want you to take a look at the middle of the building. Look at this hole in the roof. Earlier today, there were actually flames spurting out of that section of the building and fire crews were able to get the fire under control, contain it to mostly the middle section of the building. But the building owner does tell me there's a lot of water and smoke damage on the inside. We want to show you some video from earlier this morning. This is what it looked like shortly after someone called in the fire around 1.30 a.m. Cahokia Volunteer Fire Chief Stephen Robbins tells me the fire started in the back of the building, then spread to the attic area. The DuPo Fire Protection District, Prairie DuPont, Camp Jackson, and Columbia Fire Departments all helped the Cahokia Volunteer Fire Department get everything under control. It took crews a little over two hours to get the fire out. Their biggest challenge, they tell me, is the fact that the building has a double roof and there's a three to four feet space between the roof. So getting access to that point proved to be difficult in the beginning. The Cahokia One Stop is a convenience store located on Upper Cahokia Road off Jerome Lane. There's a small kitchen inside the building too, and we are just le now learning there's a recording studio next door, and although the sign says there's a laundromat and barber and beauty shop nearby, I'm told that is no longer the case. The owner of the building says he thinks that someone might have set the fire on purpose, but investigators are still working to determine what exactly caused the fire. Here's what the owner of the building told me earlier this morning. There is an, no possibility for the electric or anything to do the short circuit because everything is new inside which we just uh, remodeled in 2018 with a new wiring and everything. So we don't expect the, on any electrical issues. The state fire marshal is working to determine what exactly caused this fire to start, but we are finding out that nobody was hurt. Reporting in Cahokia Heights, I'm Laura Simon.